Okay, welcome everyone to another Chaos Africa meeting. Anybody really excited today, please. You can you can feel free to meet your mic and you know contribute to the conversation because uh today I love us have like a very uh interesting conversation about Chaos Africa for the next year. So um yeah, I just dropped the meeting to the term. Mm. Um, you know, it's not flooding. I don't know where I am, doesn't get flooded. So it's not, it's just like making kind of rain, not like heavy rain. Yeah, it's not really flooding. Um, so there we go. Um, so let me show my screen again. Um, who would love to facilitate next meeting? Um, um, Hold up to us the next meeting. Is there a usually this meeting is yeah. Hi, I am Um, I think we lost roots. Right. I think. I'm back. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's happening with my network. It's just very spotty. Um, but did, I think I said, I think I said you were going to. Oh, yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, Person here, we are we join my class call. Hi, hi, Antonio. How are you doing? Do you want to say hi? Um, I don't know where you're joining. I'm oh, fine. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for joining. I was uh, going to. Right. Yeah, you can tell us where you're joining from and what you do. Um, Antonio, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can, but I don't think I get it. No, I just said you can introduce yourself and just let us know. Ah, okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. So for everyone who don't know me, I think most of you don't know me. Uh, my name is Antonio Pedro, and I'm a software developer. Uh, more precisely, I'm a computer science and engineering student at uh, Andropasta Institute of Information Technology, Delhi. Uh, I'm based in India, but I'm from Angola in Southern Africa. And uh, yeah, I think that's about me. But before closing, uh, when I'm not coding, I'm swimming. 
swimming like oh, my nice. sport. Yes. You swim as a sport. Yes, yes, yes. I, I love listening to music most most preferably rap, hip hop, R and B, R my vibe. And yeah, that's all about myself. That's cool. I, I started learning how to swim at my old age. <laughs> yeah, you should try. Yeah, it's been a struggle, but I'm making progress. So it's good to hear that you swim as a sport. Yeah, but not right now because I'm I'm hearing that in Nigeria the weather is so cold. So you're uh, free if you, if you try now. Yeah, exactly. But I still do go to swim though, even when the weather is cold. I don't you know, it's just very interesting. So still go. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Mm, um, welcome again, Antonio. Um, Pleasure yeah. is mine. Okay. Um, I don't think there's any more new person. So welcome every other person. <laughs> um, is there any new person? I don't know. Emma Muzo. I don't think I've seen him before. Here. Yeah. Oh, hi everyone. I was here last week. Oh, so I'm so sorry. I have a very yeah. short memory. Um, I think um Jacob, you've introduced yourself here before, right? I know you joined the. Uh, Newcomer meeting. You were asking for Ifihan. Ifihan, I don't know where Ifihan is. <laughs> he will be on Slack. Um, okay, we can get started. So uh, uh the agenda today, who would love to take notes for us? Um I got on the agenda, just adding notes as we talk through the agenda. Um, if anybody would love to do that, be really grateful. Okay. Do we have any volunteers? No. Yes, no, yes, no. Okay, I'll try to do that as well. Um, so there are a couple of um, agenda items today, which are really, really quite important. Um, and um, the, I think we should first start with the um, for design updates from the design group. Um, Kingsley is not able to be here, is not available today, so I'm just going to kind of talk about what he said. Um, it's after Chaos Con Africa, a lot of new person joined in, so like, um, I think Kingsley has been mainly busy with um, onboarding. Right. Um, Kings have been busy with like onboarding, um, new contributors that um joined, um, the design channel, and he also kind of gave them a task to, um, think about things to how to improve the UI, the mobile version of the event badging website. I think that's what they're kind of working on. Um, that's the update he had from his end. Um no major things. I think in the conversation about updating the focus group structure, we'll talk about a, a lot of things I have to share and kind of discuss how these different groups will move forward in the future. Um, but yeah, that's the only updates that Kingsley gave to me, but he's not here today. So if you are interested in design as well, the design channel is Ash Chaos Africa dash design. So you can direct questions to him, but I would like Enoch. Um, Enoch has been trying to revive the development group we have in Chaos Africa, so I'll let him give updates and like what they're working on, how things are going there. Well, in my background is so noisy. I'm wondering whether you I can hear. I don't hear any background noise, so I think you can go ahead. Oh, all right. Yeah. Um, good evening, everyone. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to inquire. I actually didn't follow up whether Sean um, was able to come through for the Tuesday meeting. If anyone attended the, the meeting, you can just let me know. I thought about that while you were on the call. I didn't follow it up. Was he available? If anyone joined in and they can and they can um, 
be able to tell us so that I know what to do about that. Meanwhile, my Zoom is playing me games. It has disappeared. I can still talk, but it has disappeared from my computer. Oh, I don't I don't know. I I I didn't join that meeting. So I don't really know. Maybe you just ask him if like anybody was. I know I saw the meeting on the calendar, but I didn't yeah. know which, right. So uh, all right. Um, apart from that, okay, I'm going to infer from him. If he didn't, um, if he didn't, if he wasn't able to make it, or if um, people were not able to make it, I was trying to look here on the calendar. And um, tomorrow, oh, sorry, not tomorrow, on Saturday, um, if you check your chaos calendar, there is another meeting that is scheduled. So, um, and I think he mostly attends the Saturday meetings more than the ones during the week because on Saturday he's usually free. So um, if he, I'm going to infer from him, if he wasn't there, um, I'll let you know, but there is also another one that he scheduled. Uh, you can check your chaos calendars and see on the 15th of um, July. Um, we had a dev meeting on Tuesday at the usual time. For those who do not know the time we meet, we always meet, um, I don't know, depending on what time zone you're in, you can check the calendar too and know what time that is. Uh, mostly what we do in those meetings is we we try to see where everything in the development environment is and also help onboard new people to the, to the chaos uh, development world. Um, Tomorrow, there is another call scheduled. Well, I don't know how I can share this. I don't want to put it in the curse calendar because it will it will not be recurring. Um, what is that? Um, the one for JavaScript and CI and CD. It's a dev Why call. Is it? It's a, for West African time. That will be 4 p.m. And um, for... The rest of the people, I don't know what time zone. I don't know how to share this call. I already scheduled it in my calendar. And I'm looking for the share of the So I'm trying to um so you know, I'm trying to understand now is um use so for the dev group, I think you might even talk about this more in the other in this topic. The mm -hmm. dev group kind of divided the calls into um into different um stack mm -hmm. like for example in you said the, the javascript developer calls will happen differently and then mm -hmm. what's one for so i'm trying to like kind of understand oh that. So, okay like, um this one is for javascript and then um and then devops javascript and devops yeah, can you get i think maybe you can put it for me on the calendar but it's not recurring just one time call just for tomorrow Oh, okay. So one time yeah. call. So for those who are interested in um, DevOps and JavaScript pro projects that are in chaos, we shall be meeting tomorrow. Um, I am Ruth. You can put it at um, four p.m. West African time. I think it will convert to uh, time zones of everyone else. Um, so tomorrow, what majorly we're going to be looking at, mostly we are going to be looking at, um, um, we're going to be focusing on all the budging projects. We, we only have three budging projects, but the fourth one is just becoming public. Um, but when contributions are open, we shall also speak about it. So we shall be looking at the board script, looking at the website, and we shall also be looking at the budging board. And then we shall also be looking at things that happen around the servers that we manage and also what actually um, goes on in the DevOps um, side of chaos. So for those that can be able to join in, um, we shall be glad to see you. And um, I am hoping we can record it. I'm going to talk to Ruth at least after this call or before tomorrow's meeting so that uh, I can sort out this chaos account. No. Um, otherwise, apart from that, um, that is all I can give an update about. For in-depth stuff about development, 
don't miss the Tuesday calls that happen weekly. You can always check the chaos calendar. Okay. Um, I'm just going to. Thank you, Enoch. Um, does anyone have any question? I think um, nah, Nafisa was asking about the data analysis. I think those calls will happen. Like anything development related will be covered here um, on this call. So um, I think you can also be part of this one. There will, there will be no like focus group separate for data analysis. But I know that recently that um, we in chaos we had um, a new a new staff person which is like the director of um, data science and I know that's Don Foster and she has she she will have some plans about like data related things in chaos and she she's off I think she's starting in August so maybe by then we should have like more projects or things around data analysis but for now i think that everything development will happen during this um, calls um, okay i there like any more questions from you know Ruth, have you scheduled the meeting or i can share my um, the one I this one time call yeah it's a one time call yes but I, I can schedule it tomorrow we shall be using this particular. Oh, I'll it after the rather like after this call, I'll schedule. I just don't want to like. Okay. 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 I have it handy. I'll just like schedule it later. Um, this is an action item for me to schedule the meeting. So um, I think the next thing I want to kind of also, where do I get the schedule for the focus groups? So um, once I schedule the meeting, if you go to chaos.community-calendar, it should be there, right? Like right now, you would see the developer call. You see, you see it's right here. So it happens, this is, Central time zone, that's why showing 4 a.m. Or well, once you copy it to your calendar, you'll be able to add it. So this is the one that happens weekly. So once I once I schedule it, it's going to appear here tomorrow. So you can see it and add it like so copy it to your calendar. So I don't know if that answers your question. Okay, I guess that did. Um, let me drop the link to this as well. So the chat. Um, so you can all choose uh, the link. Um, okay. So um, the other thing I wanted to kind of like talk about is uh, the Slack bot. This is, I think this also falls on that development. I mean, um, it's precious here. You can share the link to the, the, the GitHub link to the Slack bot. That would be great. So I'll just share my screen. I'll just read on my screen. So if is any everyone aware of the Slack bot, if you type like newbie in the in the in the new commerce channel, you'd see the function of the Slack bot. And sometimes when you join like the Chaos Africa group, you'd see the Slack bots giving. Let me try to see if I can because my screen is a mess right now. Let me stop share and try to share it again and share my Slack and show how it works and show the updates I'm talking about. Um, okay, let me see, this is my Slack. And I'm going to try to share my Slack. Um, let's see, this is my Slack. Okay. So if you see my Slack, can everyone see my Slack? 
from my whole Slack message to the world. Um, so you should type newbie, right? Um, so I get a message from the welcome to chaos lab bot. And um, kind of some of these things here, um, which kind of helps the um, helps newcomers. That's what the project is about: helping new contributors and people um, welcome them and give them links to look at things that they they can do in the chaos project. But a lot of these things, this project was done in some time last. I think that was last year, pressure, So I'm not mistaken. Or was it twenty twenty one? Um, and then we had a particular handbook um, that was separate from the website. But now um, things are, a lot of things have been updated and it, here the links here are no longer, and some of them are, some of them are not working. Um, let me see, like this link now, let me see, but it's still, still working. See, this doesn't work. This is one. Oh, I'm not sharing my whole screen, so you won't see that. But if you go to that participate, you see that it doesn't work. Um, currently, you fall for error, right? Um, so if you look at this, screen. If you look at this, it shows. Um, so there, there are some certain things here that do. There are some certain links here that do not work, and then. Um, there are some certain things that we can, there's, there are so many things we can use this bot for. Like for example, I every every time we have a meeting, I usually put it in the channel. This bot can do that, right? So I think um, this conversation is about like expanding, up to one is updating the functional, the, the, the things, the different things in this um, bot to point to the right direction and even updating maybe the text and making it more beginner friendly or um, adding more things to it. And then second is what other functionalities can we use this bot for? Because I feel like it's um, something that's really important. It can, there are so many things that um, we can do with this. So I'll just hand it over to um, Precious to talk about that and what things that we, what things you see that we can do and how can people get involved um, we're doing this. Let me go back to share my screen. So, um, take it away. So, this is the bot here. This is linked to the bot. This question is still here. Oh, Hi, so yes, I'm here. Good afternoon. Um, so I think I dropped a link to the GitHub repo in the chat. I'm just going to drop it again and just in case. Okay, yeah, so um about the the new like adding functionalities to the bot, um I don't know, I hadn't really thought about that, but if anyone wanted to contribute, you could just go to the GitHub repo and open an issue. Like if, if you notice something, something you think that is not working properly or you want to request for a new feature, you can just, you can go to the GitHub repo and create an issue and we'll take a look at it. Also, um okay i'm I'm going to create an issue today for updating the links and um okay um Ruth mentioned making it more beginner friendly i don't so if anyone wants to take that up like we can look into creating content i don't know um, okay, I think um, maybe we can do this like this. Okay. Um, let me see. I know I have like a couple of things that we can do. I just have it in my head. Like we can, um, for example, um, use the bots. I, I just need you to tell me it's possible, right? The bots can send 
reminders, the channel about joining um, meetings or meeting reminders to like, for example, the Chaos Africa channel and even other channels or working groups one is that um is that feature kind of possible to implement with the bots um then two is another thing is um i feel we can reward the text there are a lot of things that happen in you know chaos um like we can add in things like join this working group you know different working i think that's already there but we can kind of reward the text um, which is something that a content person would know better how how it would work. So this is uh, okay. There we call for there we call for somebody contents uh, that does contents to kind of rework the bots, right? Rework the wording around the bot. And those are those are the two things I see for now. That okay, I see our features. What other things are people can we do with the bot that people are thinking about? Um, as well, that's the second open conversation to for us to have here. Um, okay, so for the reminders, meeting reminders, I don't know, isn't there, I think there's a bot that does that already, isn't there? Not, not, in, the, not in the way that it's a reminder. Let me show you how it works with the bot. Like it's it's more of a like what it just it's just like the this what's the, the meaning of this IFTT again? Forgotten the meaning, but yeah, like it just drops in like these are all the meetings that are happening today, right? And then it drops in before I think it used to be even better, but they changed some they updated some things around it, and we had to like rework it. But what I mean is more of something like the message I sent, like this, like kind of this whole thing, like customizing the message like this, like at every, let's say, 3 p.m. or maybe 9 a.m. of that day, it was the reminder. And then when the meeting is happening, it was that same reminder. In other smaller um, focus groups, it does that same thing to, to remind people that this is happening. Aside from DMing people directly, I don't know if you kind of get me now. Okay, yes, yeah, I do. Um, yeah, I think we can look into it. I just need, um, I might not have a lot of time right now, so I need anyone that is interested. I don't know, should we create a yeah, we the channel? Maybe we can start a thread or something. Yeah, or we so can anyone start. That indicate yeah or oh, even yeah. Does any is anybody interested to work on something like that kind of improve the functionality of the bot or are people interested so that because i know precious doesn't have like she has other things something she's working on so she doesn't have like time on her hands so this is like okay who wants to also contribute to this because i feel it's really important because sometimes i forget to actually do those reminders and i feel it's really helpful so yeah. Okay. I will. I don't want to stop it to drag on so much. Like there are other things we kind of need to discuss. But um, first of all, we can take that action item to open that issue and put in the oh. code that there's maybe two issues. One for updating the broken links, and the second one for adding more functionality, like the two I've mentioned. Or maybe I can open that second one. And I'll share. Okay. Um, um, so, is there any question about the bots before we move to the next agenda item? Okay, I think Napisa wants to also help. Thank you, Napisa. Um, I don't know what's wrong with my mouse. 
Um, but yeah, I wanted to also talk about or this the uh, the next agenda item is the focus groups restructure. So for when we started Chaos Africa, we had we started with like five main groups. Can everyone hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, my network is just really frustrating me. Yes. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I don't know. Is anybody seeing you connecting on my screen? Yes, I can see it. Yeah, it's nothing weird. But yeah, um, yeah, um, Rhoda, you can assist as well. I think they will not just be coding in it because I saw I saw your message on the chat. It's not just going to be coding; they're also coordinating people to do it as well. Um, so you can definitely do assist with the tax. Um, then I uh, the second thing I wanted to talk about is the focus group structure. Um, we when we started Chaos Africa, and this is me trying to see how we can make things in, we can include everybody because um right now we have just the development and the um the development and the design group. We have those two active. Those are the two groups that are active right now, and um the other three groups as the researchers, I think the other one is the technical writers, and then community management. Um, I don't know, those groups are not really active right now. And there are either two things I see here. It's either we find people that want to, because so far what I have learned from, um, what I've learned from um, the other two groups that are active is that, they they have people reading things right like Kinsley so does a lot of work with um onboarding people in design and leading the design group so that's why like things are progressing there um we have for for the development group Enoch is also doing great work but the other groups are kind of dormant um so it's either we um the, my suggestion is either we we close those groups and focus more on these two groups, existing groups that we have, or we look for people that want to do things there. And leading things in the sense that you would um, own um, things there, like own bringing people together and creating it and finding things, finding ways to um, engage people. Um, so yeah, so this is like um, an open conversation on that. Like, what do we do about the other three groups? I am of the opinion that because right now I've not, I haven't made the call out for like okay, who wants to lead those groups, but I don't also want to put pressure on people to lead some things, right? Um, so I'm personally, I'm of the opinion that we can close them till something comes up or I'm just opening it up to people so let's know if there are people that want to leave things there yeah Ruth can I can I shoot my shot <laughs> okay thank you um so um my my 10 cents would be that um, the groups should be, okay, even though they've not been as um, active as the um, other one, the other two, my take would be that we should, we should um, leave them for some time. Let's give a time frame, let's say two quarter or a quarter or two quarters 
and then um, gets people to manage the groups, all right? Um, I, for one, am interested in technical writing, okay? So I think I can break my back in that group. I don't mind that, all right? And so for the other ones that are dormant, let's try to get um, people um, to, to champion the course in those groups. And if after a set period of time, an agreed period of time, say a quarter, two quarters, and it's not looking promising, and then we can come back and decide what to close and what to continue with. That's my 10 cent. Okay, that's great. That's, that's a good idea. Um, if anybody can help with taking the notes, to really nice. I'm trying to kind of um, speak and do it at the same time. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I think that that makes sense. So let's not just like kill it, um, but let's try to see if things, if, in the next few months because I do get the sometimes I, I understand the challenge that a lot of people are still getting to understand um you know how chaos works so it's really hard for somebody to like come and own things when they're still getting to understand that which is understandable and and okay so I we can do this and perspective you have you have an interest to in one of them in one of the groups so that's that's um that's fine. Does any other person want to add in something? Um okay, we're to answer your question. So that research, um, and I think that Dean guys here. So the when we when we um I think the one of the first calls we had, um uh, one of the first calls we had is uh, on that call we had people that were interested. We just ask the question like what are the different things that people are doing and then we had people that were a lot of them were interested in research and so that's why we chose like those five groups and then we started a research um kind of a survey but we haven't we have, we have not actually finished that project that project has also um, been quite silent as well um so there's something actually there but it's I don't know if that answers your question. Um, there's an act, there's a there's a particular project as a survey that's still there that has not finished. I think the, the it's in the writing phase. That's where we kind of lagged in, on the writing part of things, like writing the analysis has been done. It's just the writing the report part. That's the that's the um meaning thing to do so yeah okay any other person wants to add to the conversation Um, so what I said um, further was that we do have the research group and when it started, it started um, on the first, one of the first meetings we had and we asked about interest of what people were doing and that research group came up and we have like a project that is ongoing there, um, but we it kind of lagged like it, it slowed down during the writing phase, there was a survey we ran last year but well, the main thing is to write the reports so i don't know if you caught that now that. okay so um i will um i will 
kind of go with um Elzino's um suggestion. So I we can we can revisit and I think Mary Blessin also indicated interest to maybe resurrect the community managers group. So that's also great. And just put that down. Yeah, so um, the next agenda item is the Chaos Africa Roadmap, still leading back to this conversation. Um, in June, we kind of broke like one year of running Chaos Africa. So this year, I was kind of thinking about um, how the next year will look like um, for us um, in Chaos Africa. And what are the things that um they they're kind of a lot of things that I have in mind. But I wanted to open up the conversation and ask people while I build up that roadmap and you know share with the community in the next meeting. What are the things that you'd love to see Chaos Africa do or um, in open source in Africa? Like what are the things that come come to mind um that you love to see um or keywords or certain things that you want us to cover. Um, in the next year. So I open this question up to people. I just want to get ideas so that as I am building up that roadmap, um, I will incorporate all, all those um, things. Anybody can say yeah. Okay, so um, everyone was here. Um, we are doing one or two things like that, developer, technical, and then all. So I think um, one of the things I would say in terms of the roadmap map is how um, each one of us. Uh, will get involved and then um, promoting the goal and the objective of the Chaos Af Africa. So um, apart from just being in the community and also contributing, I think there are certain things that we can do um, that can uh, help achieve the goal of the Chaos Africa. I don't think of any now, but I think that if we you know, getting in, getting fully involved will give us a, um, a place and then to, to do one or two things that help um like getting fully involved in what sorry getting fully involved in what sorry like I, I think apart I said apart from contributing there are certain things that we can do that can help um promote the goal and the objective of the Chaos Africa. Okay, so we look we should look at other things. Yeah, so we, look, we should look at other things as yeah. Um sorry, can I drop a 10 cent? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, so for, for the roadmap, um now, I feel personally that people hesitate um, for two major reasons. One, um, um, for, um, okay, they are not sure of their competent, um, competence level to deliver on a particular project. And secondly, they really don't know what's going on. So my 10 cents would be that um, every now and then, um, 
chaos can organize um, labs where, um, okay, just like the chaos, the, the chaos con, right? Where we had mentors come and address, address us on what is this and what is not that. So we could have mini labs like that, short sessions where people come and say, okay, let's, let's, let's treat this subject um, this week. So um, everyone, okay, let's say, um, come and learn how to, come and learn how to um, do this, come and see how this is done. So when there is this how to um, um, seminars and um, sessions, um, I think um, anyone that is really, really interested comes and attends those how to sessions and then they will be able to um, meaningfully contribute and then not hesitate. So um, for the roadmap, yeah, so I'm saying that we could um, add to our plans um, in, um, initiatives to, to promote labs and short sessions, how to sessions, yeah, it's, that's that. Yeah, I think I, I, I agree with what you're saying. Um, that's that's for the, the challenge you spotted out there. It's really, really, I see it a lot where people um, shy away from participating a lot of times. So, yeah, how to sessions. And will, it, will this be like more physical or virtual? Virtual is a virtual life event. Because it's hands on, you are on your laptop. Okay, you are following instructions real time, so it's hands on, virtual life. Um, I see somebody said, Nika uh, said, um, pod, <laughs> podcasts, workshops as well. So I'm just going to add that to you. Um, any other thing? And then I like the um educating people more on metrics. Um, because I think um yesterday Enoch and I were chatting and I think we we kind of realized how much a lot of people that come into chaos um focus on the development and um design or what then metrics are something that we're still trying to understand and how to use it. Um there's this events that is coming up, uh, community leads, I think it's the community leads Africa or something. Um, I'm trying to see how we can also participate in that event because there will be a lot of community people there that we can talk about community metrics for. I see if I can submit the CFP there. Um, yeah, so that's, that's great. Um, any more additions? to this, um, I am still working on it. I'll, I'll use ideas as well that you, you all are shared to kind of build things up. So you kind of to share a little bit on some keywords that I've been thinking about is um, for the roadmap is education. Um, you know, technical contributions and building software, that's another one. Commun using community metrics, that's another one. Um, sharing opportunities, um, that's another one. And then also building connections, finding ways to build connections and spotlighting work that people are doing here in Africa to the global open source community. So those are kind of the things, the keywords that I have and kind of building building the roadmap up and hopefully in the next awareness and outreach that's great and outreach. So um, while I I'll build these things up and hopefully share in the next meeting so that we follow why this roadmap is important is so we are able to follow through with um, what we're doing and we're able to track our progress, um, you know, which will help because the the other part of this is I'm also trying to see how we can apply for grants because a lot of the things that we do would need money. So if we have everything in check and every like a roadmap and what we want to do, it's easy to apply for grants or even do a crowdfunding campaign or something. 
great. So yeah, I would share that in the in the next meeting, hopefully when I have that all put together. But thank you everyone that appeared the attendance and exactly to let us know. Thank you. Um, so I think does anyone have any questions about this? We're almost at the top of the hour. Okay, um, see there are no questions. Um, so I just wanted I don't I don't have this to share yet, but I just wanted to let you all know and which is which is also um, looking at one part of our roadmap, which is uh, education. There's the program coming up, which I announced in ChaosCon um, um, all in Africa, and it's going to, I'm still building it off. Next meeting should be where I share more detailed plans with everyone, um, but it's going to help with education uh, in our roadmap. So that's an upcoming program. Um, should kick off August um, by God's grace. So yeah, so that's something that's coming up. And I will call for volunteers soon for this. Um, it's going to be run. It's not a Chaos Africa program. It's um, a GitHub program, but um, Chaos Africa was giving a grant to run this um, for the next year. Um, so I will have more details soon, but for now, um, this is an upcoming program, and this is something, um, the roadmap is something I'll share in the next meeting as well. Um, are there any more questions uh, or any discussions or anything? Oh, yes, there's one more thing. Um, the Chaos Africa playlist, like the Chaos Con Africa playlist, it is now up. Let me see YouTube. Um, the Chaos Africa playlist is now open. Let me try to find it. So I'm trying to link. Um, yeah, yeah. So if you want to catch up on the, if you want to catch up on the um talks, all the talks, I'm trying to find direct link to the playlist. So I'm looking. Supposed to work, but yeah. This is linked to the playlist, so you can catch up on the talks. I think they are all complete now. Just yes, they are all complete. I think so. So you can catch up on all the talks. Um, by you means just one is not here. I'll in them to make the upload soon. Um, so I'll put them in the chat as well. Um, okay. uh, why is yours all capital letters? I don't know. <laughs> There's no good edit. Oh, but yeah, um, are there any more questions just before me? Any more questions? Um, okay, I guess there are no more questions. Um, thank you everybody for joining. Um, and do have um uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, everyone. Bye. Yeah, bye. Bye.